So you want to remove governor, make your engine go fast. Briggs and Stratton, Honda, Kohler, Subaru, any small engine, this is going to work. That's the governor arm that's on the outside. And you also have some pieces on the inside that you need to remove. That governor arm could be on the top. But what you want to do with any engine is remove the oil first and then remove the crankcase cover. After I've got these bolts out, I'm using a flathead screwdriver and a hammer to lightly tap that seal between the two and work it loose. So once you've got the crankcase cover off, you'll see this little gear in here with some flyweights in it. As the RPMs increase, it pushes the little mechanism out. I'm not going to explain how it works, but this has got to go. I just popped it out with a flathead screwdriver. And then this other mechanism in here also has to come out. You don't want that flopping around when you're revving your engine, rubbing against the, the camshaft. So just using normal hand tools to remove the governor arm. And there's also a washer that needs to come off, as well as a little cotter pin that held everything in. Now, this, all, this needs to come out, but it's going to leave a hole inside the engine. So it's about a quarter inch, so I'm putting a quarter inch bolt in there. I didn't happen to have a bolt this long, so I made one out of some threaded rod, but you can just buy a bolt and put it in there. Um, since you're going to get a lot of vibration, you should use a nylock nut and or thread locker. Um, this hole needs to be plugged, otherwise you're going to have oil coming out of the engine. So super simple, just put a bolt in there, put a nut on the end, call it good. And put a new seal on if you want to. I'm really cheap and I, I got some gasket maker, used the old gasket, covered in gasket maker, covered that with oil, covered this with oil. Super important part, make sure the dots line up, otherwise your timing's going to be off. So, after I got everything on there, slide it back on. This is also another very important part. You want to hand tighten all of these bolts and then use your torque wrench to torque it down to the proper specs. This engine, a five horse, Briggs and Stratton, flathead, needs 10 foot pounds. Okay, so you're not totally done. Now that you've removed the governor, you've messed up your throttle the way it used to work. So you either need to buy a throttle kit or build your own. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build my own intake using a GX200 carburetor as well as a custom exhaust. So that's my next engine. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment, rate, and subscribe. Next one's going to be this engine running.